We all know the capability of bump mapping since ages on board inside Cinema 4D. Bump mapping is nothing else but mimicking uh, the deformation of a surface normal, like an emboss effect or something like, let's say, a cheap displacement effect. So with release 18, we have another option on board here for the good old bump channel, bump mapping channel, uh, that is called parallax effect or parallax shading and parallax offers something that is especially useful when you s if you see your bump information from uh, a low angle so let's activate the interactive render region here and see how our luca noise in the bump channel is here on that one polygonal um, um, plane so uh, that looks quite nice, quite interesting, but we see all the things we already know from bump mapping. It looks like like, um, like, like like an emboss effect, but especially when seen from a lower angle from the side, it looks kind of flat, some kind of cheap. So with parallax offset, we can now introduce something like a spatial behavior like something that is much more towards the direction of displacement so um, let's dial in some values maybe 20 uh, for beginning uh, for parallax offset and you see there is clearly now something going on um, it seems that the bump information is taken into account uh, in relation to which is the brightest part of my bump shading, in this case this noise shader here, and what is what are the other parts be, uh, outside of my brightest areas. And as you can see, um, the brightest areas of my bump shading stay in place while all other areas outside or outside the range of pure white are taken down they are um, they are offset uh, to it to create the illusion of a, of a real uh, profile view in that case so um, let's try to uh, see what we are dealing with here we have that noise shader here a simple noise shader applied in UV 2d space and the brightest points are staying in place while all darker points are offset uh, along the normals of the surface. So the other parameter here is simply let's say the subdivision of that effect. So let's dial down this to maybe one parallax sample and you should see, ah, you, you, you see uh, the effect is getting uh, yeah, washed out, uh, not so detailed. So let's dial in maybe 20 samples to see the difference. Wait a minute for the rendering. And here we are, all those uh, tiny details are reoccurring um, there are real spikes now, it's not washed out anymore. So let's head over to a pre-made example where you can see uh, the effect of parallax bump mapping much better. Uh, in this case we have a pr purely procedural uh, landscape-like thing going on here. We have a combination of several noises inside a layer shader and uh, all of this is applied in, in, in the bump channel. So this looks quite nice. We have some uh, embossing effects here, but uh, the lower our viewing angle gets, especially here in nearly profile views, um, the more the effect gets uh, some kind of flat or cheap or not credible. So with uh, parallax mapping, parallax shading, that is history, as you can see. Um, now, even in profile view, our bump mapping is credible, is naturalistic, or something like 
uh, okay that could be a real thing so you see the difference as I told you all the um, bright areas of the bump input are staying in place while all, all other areas darker areas are offset along the surface normal that's the way parallax shading is working and there are some limitations of course if you look at the silhouette of um, the object of course there's no real displacement going on um, so uh, the effect simply gets cut off at the silhouette and of course there's no real calculation of shadows so um, as there is no real deformation of geometry it's still a bump mapping effect but a quite sophisticated one so um, also be aware that uh, the, uh, applying this cool effect takes some more render time um, so mm, you want to take care of that but um, beside that it's a, it's a great effect and it really enhances uh, the capability of good old bump mapping.